full on. Woo! Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the all new Ram 2500 Bighorn. Before we get in this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions, just ask for Ryan. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have the 6.7 liter inline six turbo diesel known as the Cummins that goes through a six speed automatic transmission. And this truck is the 68 RFE. Power outputs are 370 horsepower and then 850 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now this truck happens to have the cab lights here at the top and then you guys can see our 2500 heavy duty badge and then we've got the normal ram hood which is like higher in the center and then falls off on the sides. We've got halogen lights here up front and then you guys can see the fog lights down below. Notice we've got the chrome front grille and notice um, besides the chrome the rest of the grille is kind of like all blacked out and then you can see the tow hooks also blacked out there at the bottom. And putting it all together there's not a lot to differentiate this from a tradesman with the chrome uh, bumper group just saying. Come around the side here, tire wheel setup is 275, 60, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the wheels, they're chrome. It's it's just a truck thing, right? And speaking of chrome, so is the Cummins badge, so is the Ram badge there on the side. And then you guys can see you've got the trailer mirrors and then the blacked out door handles. Now being a 2500, we do have multi-link in the rear. And if you guys are wondering, this has solid front and rear axles. And then here's our full side view. And you guys can see this is a crew cab with the six foot four bed. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, Ram logo there on the back, and yeah, that's about it. And popping into the bed, first off, <laughs> we got the uh, tailgate popping down there. Anyways, 2153, that is the payload capacity. You guys can see we've got our power outlet and the hookups for a fifth wheel setup as well. Uh, no bed liner with this particular truck though. Yeah, so the tailgate is not dampened at all. Anyways, it's light. Now I've got the base taillights here with the big horn. You guys can see all the rest of the badges, all chrome here on the back end. And then you guys can see with the receiver hitch there at the bottom. If you're running tongue capacity, right around that like 16-ish thousand pound range. And putting it all together, it definitely has more of that like work truck appearance with all the chrome and everything. Now taking a look at the door panel here in the rear, you guys can see the darker trim here at the top, the cloth trim down below. And then look at the padding and stitching down below that. And then you got plenty of storage at the bottom of the door panel. And then here are the seats you guys can see with the gray cloth trim and very nicely padded. It's one thing I do love about the Bighorns. And then we do have ice buckets here and there is under seat storage as well. Legroom here in the back is actually really solid. We've got a little storage pocket here in the rear as well. And then headroom back here is also good. And this has a cup holder armrest. Now here's our front door panel. You guys can see the dark trim here with the cloth trim. And then look at all of the padding down below. Our window controls front two are automatic. You got your mirror adjustments. They do power fold in. And then this one has the new style trailer mirrors. So these functions right here, those are for the mirror lights. This is to extend the mirrors. And then that is to adjust the convex mirror. So I'll show you guys the extend function quickly. So I just got to press that extend button. And then there we go. <laughs> I didn't press it apparently. They'll pop right out. Now the front seats are just as nice as the rear. Again, you've got that two-tone cloth design. Power adjustments here on the side. We've got our light controls here. That's for the fog lights, that's for the cargo light, and then the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Now here is the steering wheel. You guys can see padding all around. We've got radio controls here on the back with our cruise control and our gear limiter. We've got our voice band phone controls and then also our controls for the center stack. And we have our turn signal windshield wiper stock and a good old fashioned column shifter. Now here is the gauge cluster. It's mostly analog. We do have a screen here in the center which we can use to scroll through different bits of info. And I just realized it's in Espanol. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you guys can see we got the zoom function as well. Now going over the rest of the infotainment system, first off response time for the screen's great. And yeah, it's all in Spanish. 
<laughs> okay, someone must have said it to that. Um, but anyways, it, it, it works really well. And there's a little 12 volt there at the top. And then you guys can see here with the blacked out trim in that area as well. We've got our radio controls right here. And then you guys can see with the stability control there on the center. And we've got our climb controls just down below. And then trailer brake controls here at the bottom. And then uh, notice for your alternate trailer height um, because this has the rear air ride. You got a tow haul mode, diesel exhaust brake, auxiliary switches. It's all six of them, which is pretty crazy. And then here's our drive line selects. We've got our two-wheel drive, four-wheel high, four-wheel low, and then your neutral. Bunch of auxiliary ports down below with some more storage space and even a full power outlet. And then here is the center console. It's got decent storage space. Turns into a bench seat, which is pretty cool. And then, ooh, got even more storage underneath. And you guys can see we got the glove box here. As well, notice it says Bighorn on it. And then there's not a lot up top because, well, rear glass is fixed, no center for anything like that. Um, yeah. Now here's our window sticker for this Bighorn. Base MSRP is 56665 And then this one has quite a few options, including the level one equipment group. You've got the diesel as an option as well. Um, and then I'm pretty sure, again, it has the auto level, so it's got to have the rear air suspension. I've got to find it though here. There we go. Automatic rear air suspension. Anyways, total MSRP on this truck, 74895 74895 for a Bighorn. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and the rest of the rear. And let us set off. So, setting off here on this 2500. I'm driving this back to back with the Laramie. And something that I want to mention is these cloth seats are so comfortable. They're slightly more comfortable than the Laramie seats even. Now, one thing to mention is because the Laramie has leather seats, once those seats wear in, um, as you've, you know, used them, then they actually get more comfortable over time. Oh, that's cool, it's a power wagon. Uh, but anyways, actually getting up and moving. Good torque out of the engine. Gotta love this 6.7. It's interesting, this um, almost feels like it's riding rougher than that Laramie, but again, this has the rear air ride, just like the Laramie. Like everything should, everything should technically be the same with this. Hmm, strange. But yeah, uh, with the rear air ride, it definitely helps out with the overall suspension comfort. And steering is pretty light. It's not a ton of directness to it i mean it's it's not it's not horrible it's not like my jeep wrangler where there's like no directness but you definitely have a little bit of a on center uh vagueness that is for sure yeah, so much torque it's crazy brakes are truck brakes <laughs> that's for sure so just partial throttle here Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Partial throttle, actually. Get our full-blown acceleration once we get up here. Yeah, I want to mention this thing's this thing drives really well. It's very, very comfortable. Okay, let's see what this does. Full on. Woo! Solid. And this thing moves. This thing moves. That's for sure. So. Summing things up here, um, I think this drives really well. I think that yeah, it's comfortable. I don't really have anything bad to say about it other than the fact that, dang, 70 something thousand dollars for a big horn, what the heck? <laughs> when did these trucks get so expensive? I remember when a big horn diesel was like, I don't know, 50 some thousand dollars, not 70, holy crap. But anyways, um, other than that, let me know what you guys think about this truck. Uh, I think it drives really well. I mean, in terms of like, you know, being like a more of like a luxury work truck, that's kind of what this feels like, especially like the seats. That's like the big thing about the big corners. These seats are so dang comfortable. There's not another truck seat in the, you know, um, middle of the line segment of trucks that's as comfortable as this. XLT with Ford, um, you know, LT with Chevy, they're just, they don't compare. But let me know what you guys think about this.